Welcome back to Libras React. Today we're watching Tiger King again, and we are on season one, episode three, The Secret. Yeah. I think we've both been really looking forward to watching more episodes. I know most people who don't film reactions get to binge watch in one day. So sometimes we talk to people and they just are shocked at the fact that we just watch one episode at a time. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just happy to uh, film another episode for you guys. All right, let's watch. Well, it all starts, you know, Carol Baskin, Carol Baskin, who was Carol Lewis at the time, was married to Don Lewis. Oh no, we're getting into it. And he did mention to me that he felt his life was in danger. There is so many strange twists in that story. You would have to write books, volumes of the stuff that went wrong there. How was this not solved? Like right. that poor guy. I wouldn't be standing here today doing what I'm doing if it hadn't been for all of those things that have happened over the course of my life. She's such a liar. Like, ah. Uh. Like I said, sometimes when you lie for so long, you believe your lies too. Right. He told me that he was done, that he was divorcing her, that she was one of the worst people he'd ever met in his life, and she was very <sighs> dangerous. So many people are saying that. He indicated to me that he was going to tell Carol that he wanted a divorce. I feel like Carol's eye roll is her tell. Hmm. Every time she lies about it, she rolls her eyes. The call came in as a typical missing adult. And was it Carol that called? Hmm. I met Don in January of 1981. So I was 20 when I met him. Um, and he was how old? He was 22 years my senior. So okay. he was 42. <gasps> what? Wow. To understand that Don Lewis was married with kids probably older than Carol. Yeah, his kids look older than her mm -hmm. to me. He had a gun sitting on the front seat of his car. And he said, you can hold this gun on me. I just need somebody to talk to. So I picked up the gun, held it on him. <laughs> we drove around town and he talked. What? And I ended up spending the night with him. She's, wow. She spent the night with him and they were both still married, I assume. Maybe. I love him till the day I died, but wow. it was over. He used wow. to call her Angel. Homewrecker. And wrecker. I said, well, she's an angel sent straight from hell, and one day you'll find out. Don was a millionaire. He was a multimillionaire, okay? And Whoa. he didn't like her spending his money. I've got her diary. I've, I've got it all. She called herself a millionaire. We just happened to have gotten in the mail today. Carol's diary. How did he get that? I'm gonna say Don Lewis was probably worth um, 20 million. I'm, I know at least five million, if not 10 million. Wow. Don had money when he met Carol. Mm -hmm. Carol pretty much had nothing. I had been raped at knife point by three men that lived across the street from What? I left home at the age of 15. He definitely liked the idea of having a lot of different kinds of animals. That's Carol's daughter. Oh my goodness. I wonder what she thinks about all this. We started in 1992 with the purchase of a bobcat who was going to be killed by taxidermists at an auction. The following year, we bought 56 bobcats and lynx from a fur farm. The next year, 28 bobcats. What do they do with all those? that there were no more fur farms in the U.S. that were killing bobcats and lynx. Wow. When they started Wildlife on Easy Street, they bought, sold, bred huh. big cats. Huh. Interesting. This is the uh, VHS that she made back in the day. The last time I've probably seen it was 1996. Oh, great. Can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. Throughout this tape, we'll show you how we take them from the mother, acclimate them to social life with people. What? Huh! Theo. They have to be taken this young from the mother in order to make good quality pets. For what? Wow. 
Wow. I think you'll see throughout this tape that they are very happy. She's dressing it up. Oh my goodness. Out of all the kittens they bred, and how many died because they didn't have any clue what the hell they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> I love Joe so I much. Know. Don and I had uh, differing feelings about <laughs> conservation and breeding. And every time he was in Costa Rica, I'd have the vet out here and I would neuter and spay as many cats as fast as I could. Really? Really. Mm. Hmm. He also had a girlfriend in Costa Rica. <coughs> so I <coughs> one of their... He had a girlfriend in Costa Rica. You do it once, you do it again, you know? That she would be all he needed and that was never going to happen they were both married when they got together so neither of them are faithful i would see him with two or three different ones you know <laughs> it's not really funny dude someone would call me and say i seen don with so and so that was a problem with him because he did have a roaming eye and you know sets a holic yikes <laughs> He cheated on his wife with you. He will do that again. Right. I hope Jamie never finds herself in such a sick and perverted relationship. I think he was preparing his, his, his estate and assets in a way that, that he could get a divorce without losing everything. Yeah, I want to know where all the money went. Well, I think she has it. I just want to know if his kids got anything or not. I have a feeling they didn't, but I don't know. She would have lost the cats. She would have lost everything down to the house and a car. Motive. Yeah. yeah. But if he disappears, I think by default, she gets everything. I don't think his kids got anything. I don't know. Wish there was some way out for me. I'd say she found a way out. <laughs> <laughs> you need to take this home. You need to keep it. If anything happens to me, give it to the police. What? How is none of this enough This is the to... second time Carol has gotten angry enough to threaten to kill me. What? She has a 45 revolver and she took my 357 and hit it. But that happened in June and he disappeared in August. Oh, that is so sad. So sad for them. Said to be sure and get the Costa Rica truck ready because he was leaving early, early, early in the morning for Miami. Really? Yeah, right. To have Kenny get a truck ready because he was going early, 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 he said, the next day to Costa Rica. See, she rolled her eyes again. Do you see that? Yeah. And she memorized exactly what he said. Kenny, if I can pull this off, it will be the slickest thing I ever did in my life. I never got to see him again after that. That was the last thing that Don Lewis ever said to me. He says, do you think I should call the police? And I said, do you think? <sighs> we found his van abandoned at an airport. How does she do all this by herself? Really? You know, she had to have had help. Yeah. If you was truly wanting to disappear and nobody know where you was at, would you leave your van where you got in a plane to take off? You wouldn't want nobody to know you was in the plane because mm -hmm. that's now a clue. He said, come on and go to Costa Rica with us. Why did he want to go to Costa Rica so bad? He, he liked it down he there. He wanted to start a new life down there, I feel like. Yeah, he kind of mentioned that earlier. There was no record of any takeoff of an airplane, there was no flight file. Don lost his pilot's license the day after he got it, so he never flew legitimately again. Every flight he ever did what? after that, and there were a lot of them, he was flying illegally, so no, he wasn't reporting. I get it. She's she, trying to say that he can fly without being detected. She loves to point out all the bad things other people do, and it's annoying. If he had any kind of an accident out over the Gulf, we never would have found anything. Of course we wouldn't. She doesn't care. She never cared. Crashes and had really damaged himself in one of them. And I don't... Everything she keeps saying is trying to 
prove her point that he flew yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Like, he could remember things from way back when he was a kid, but he couldn't remember where he was for the last five Whatever. Minutes. To me and said that that looked like Alzheimer's to him. Oh my God. Whatever. <laughs> About dementia or forgetfulness or any of that crap. No, she's trying to say he has no, Alzheimer's. No, no, no. He knew exactly what was going on, where, who, what, where, when, how, why. He knew all that. that she spent, I'm sure, a lot of time setting the stage for the dementia and, and the forgetfulness. My understanding was that, that he was killed. I... Hmm. We'll go there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is that a fake Carol Baskins? <laughs> that looks just like her. Something wrong here. Oh my god. So the music video here, Kitty Kitty, about Carol killing her husband. Why do I love Joe so much? And that looks just like her. I was wondering, would you actually grind your husband up? Feed him to the tiger so there's no evidence? Oh jeez. He's like the only one in get investigating the murder. <laughs> yeah. Detective Joe. But yet he's the one in prison. Give him a job. I want to hear that story. His own kids demanded that they DNA test the meat grinder. Did they? Sheriff's office wouldn't do it. <sighs> I couldn't have run his hands through the grinder, much less a body. Okay, laugh about it. Hey, Carol, it's a voice from your past. Get <laughs> the fuck out from under the septic tank. <laughs> oh my well, god! Well, he's surely not there anymore. Never disappeared, so how, how would I have then put him in the septic tank? So oh. hilarious, don't oh you think, god. Carol? So funny. One day, somebody's gonna stub their toe. There is a god. <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah. Karma. She has a six sense of humor. Yeah. I fully believe in karma. I want that guy to be my lawyer. She watched out for his best interest. He watched her back. Don trusted Ann with every penny he had. She seems sad. Yeah. Carol never seems sad. Carol's brother was a member of the sheriff's department. Oh, and really? I he. I never really knew my brother because... Gosh, by the time I was 15, he would have been, what, nine? Of course. So we never had much of a relationship. It's funny, he grew up to be a sheriff's deputy, <laughs> which was the last thing I ever thought my brother would grow up to be. But you didn't know him, so how would you know? Like, she's trying to distance herself from him for some right. reason. I know her father, Carol's father, Vernon, could not stand him. Absolutely could not stand on. I just felt like Carol did something and they needed to protect her. So maybe they helped. I got a phone call stating that the office alarm had gone off and Carol was there. There were two wills and there were two power attorneys. The will and the power attorney, they were all taken out of the office that day. Who was the power of attorney on the new documents Carol produced? Not me. Oh. She prepared his power of attorney. A normal person would legal? put upon my death, you know, first sentence, upon my disappearance. Wait, it really says that? It says, upon my disappearance? Is that normal verbiage? Whoa! I, 37 years, never seen it say, or disappearance. Never have. Oh my God! <sighs> what? No. No. What is happening? That was made after. There was a note pinned to the refrigerator door. It said, never speak that man's name again in this house. The will wouldn't have come into play because if you disappear, you can't do anything for five years. And so Carol had him declared legally dead 
five years and one day after he disappeared. Wow. She clearly didn't care about anything. That poor woman is uh, having to live under a cloud of suspicion. She sure the... is. Poor woman. Or, no. uh, or, or funeral or anything. No. You inherited only 10% of his estate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And where did the rest go? Carol. Those who do things in a certain way. What is this? Whether on purpose or accidentally get rich. Some kind of like how to video. What was that? On how to the science of getting rich. I he looks exactly like her as Don. Reasonably rational. My number one goal in life is gonna be to make this woman happy. I would like closure. And what about justice? That would be nice. There is absolutely no physical evidence at this point in time that would point at one particular individual. And if you continue talking, I will take everything away from you and your family. Wow. That's why we haven't spoken out. Because you're afraid of Carol Baskin? Oh, yes, I am. I'm taking Carol on because everyone else is scared too. So I'm guessing the next episode is might be about Joe trying to go after Carol, maybe? Maybe, yeah, maybe that's... Because we know he's in jail, and I think it's because they think he... He hired a hitman? To kill Carol. But I, I believe that he would do something like that. I do believe he would. But I don't know, for some reason, I just... He makes me laugh. Yeah. He's funny. Yeah. And like he said, he's the only one that's not scared of her. You know? So, oh, that's just shocking to see all that evidence up against her and nothing to happen. It's scary. Like, he basically had it written down. If something happens to me, my wife did it. Almost not in those words. Yeah. And the police are like, well, we can't, there's no proof. Like, what other proof do you need besides his body, obviously? Yeah. And, like, with the job I do, I've read through a lot of power of attorneys. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen disappearance either. So I feel like that's a huge red flag. Like, in the case of my death or disappearance. What? Yeah. My thought is that she maybe shot him or did something, called her dad crying. He tried to abuse me. I shot him. I don't know what to do. Like, she probably gave her dad some sob story and her dad and maybe someone else came to help her clean up the mess. Yeah. Because a lot of times, you know, you can spin things like... To the point where her dad wouldn't ask any questions, you know? And they said her dad already didn't like him anyway. So, that's kind of what I thought happened. I think that's a good theory. Yeah. Her dad knows stuff. Like, she couldn't have done any of that on her own. Like, she needed help. Who knows? Maybe her brother's in on it. Like, just the fact that she's trying to distance herself from her own brother. We have a big family we have sisters that are 10 years older than us eight years older than us six years like we know them still we feel like we didn't really grow up with them but we still know them and they're still our siblings like to say oh i'm way older than them they're not really my sibling or whatever like yeah. that just doesn't make sense unless you're trying to cover up the fact that he could be helping you or you know we have siblings that, like, for example, she said she left home when she was 15 and her brother was eight. Like, that doesn't mean that you're not going to know him for the rest of your life. That's just not how it works. Yeah. I don't know. Her excuses just... Plus, and she was, like, trying to say she didn't know her brother at all. 
Like, I barely what? knew him. Whatever. But then the next sentence was like, well, I never expected he would be the type of person that would be a sheriff. And he's so shy. Like, you know things about him. Um, and like I said earlier, she is always trying to point out every horrible thing anybody else has done. And like, I feel like in her eyes, she's a saint that nothing she's done has ever been bad. Or if it has, it's somebody else's fault. You know? like Yeah. And just like <laughs> saying how he could easily fly a plane without anyone knowing it because he didn't have his pilot's license knew where to fly yeah. to be undetected. He's crashed his plane before. <laughs> He's forgetful. Like, in what? I, Don's, seems like Don's only fault or his biggest fault was he liked to be with other women. But clearly she knew that about him going into the relationship because he cheated on his wife with her. Right. She was the other woman. She said that. So... To me, that seemed like his worst quality, and she knew that about him going into the relationship. Yeah. Is basically what I'm trying to say. So. I, like, now I see why people get so frustrated with this show, because. And I know I have had some comments that the people that make the documentary are trying to spin it in a certain way, and you're just going to include things that are relevant to what point you're trying to make, but. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm a pretty good judge of character, and I just, I don't get good vibes off of her. Yeah, we'll just wrap this up because I feel like we could talk for hours. Me and Liz, even as kids, we love to, like, analyze people's personalities and, like, <laughs> we're weird like that. So we could probably sit here for hours analyzing everything that we think we know about Carol, but... We won't do that. We don't have the time. So we'll probably just wrap this up. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let us know in the comments what you thought. You guys commenting lets us know to keep doing this because we don't want to spend the time doing this if you guys don't enjoy yeah. it. So definitely let us know. And we want to know your theories too. Like not if they're going to be any kind of spoiler, but like certain things that you think, like what do you think happened to him? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. So. All right. We'll see you in, in the next one. Bye.